Laughing Loon presents Building Utec, Part 11. The kayak pictured here is Utec, designed and being built by Rob Max. The building shown here is a condensed version of the more detailed information in my instruction books and how-to videos available on my website. In Part 10 of Building Utec, we apply the final coats of epoxy to all the fiberglass surfaces and to all bare wood surfaces. Now we need to sand and varnish. Once the final epoxy coatings have cured, wash down all surfaces with water and a sponge before sanding. Sand the epoxy surfaces in preparation for a varnish starting with 120 or 220 grit if your surface is very smooth. Hold the random orbital sander lightly and sand in small circles to follow the curves of the hull. After you've created a uniform surface with the random orbital sander using 220 grit, it's time to go over the final surface with 220 grit and wet dry paper. Sanding with wet dry paper and 220 grit is your final preparation before varnishing. It allows you to look very closely at the surface and remove any remaining scratches from 120 grit. After you sand a section with the wet dry paper, go over it with water and a sponge to remove the sanded residue and this will leave you with a very clean surface ready to varnish. The bag on the table has a tack cloth. Go over all the surfaces before varnishing with a tack cloth to remove any dust. Having fresh varnish is critical. I recant my varnish in the mason jars and I use wax paper between the lid top to screw it down tightly. I apply the first coat of varnish using a 4 inch wide foam brush. I dip the tip of the brush into the varnish about a quarter inch. The first stroke is loaded with the most varnish so I usually start high on the boat near the keel and stroke with the strips. Then I stroke from the keel down to the shear line and then once again I stroke parallel to the strips to even out the varnish and to ensure I have total coverage. I work my way down the hull from the stem to the other stem applying the first stroke along the keel which is the heaviest loaded varnish and then parallel stroking again with the strips then reaching up to the keel and pulling the first loaded varnish down to smooth out and make sure I don't miss any spots and then finally to tip off again with the strips. I overlap each section to varnish and maintain a wet edge. I varnish one side of the hull at a time. When I do the other side there will be an area of overlap right down the middle of the keel which might show some brush strokes but Who's going to see it? <laughs> After the varnish on the hull is cured, flip the boat over and do the finished sanding on the deck. Again, starting with 120, and if your finished coats of epoxy are smooth enough, you can start with 220, which will expedite things. Use slower speeds in more detailed areas, faster speeds in open areas sand to a uniform matte surface using light pressure and circular strokes. When you get to narrow small sections like the stems, slow the orbital sander speed down to the lowest setting so you can remain in control. You don't want to take too much off. Then go over surfaces sanded with the orbital sander to 220 grit with wet dry paper and water. After sanding the section, wipe off the sanding residue with a wet sponge to have a surface ready for varnish. Going over the surface with wet sanding gives you a much closer view of the whole surface to see whether you've missed any rough spots and it cleans up the dust from orbital sanding. Wiping the wet sanded surface repeatedly with a sponge and clean water will, will remove all that residue and then before you're ready to varnish you need to go over the surface with a tack cloth to remove any 
residual dust particles. When I open a new can of varnish, I will recant it into a glass jar, pour what I need for my current coat into a plastic milk carton bottom, pour the rest into a glass quart size jar. I punch a couple holes into the edge of the can so I can drain all the remaining varnish out of it. And I'm ready to grab my brushes and start the varnish on the deck. I varnish the hatch cover deck lip with a one inch brush before I move on to varnishing the rest of the deck. I dip the brush in about a quarter inch and because it's heavily loaded I start the first stroke in the center of the deck and I work out to the shear lines. I go with the strips and then across and then finally tip off parallel to the strips. This gives the most complete coverage, preventing missed spots and creating a uniform coating. In broader sections of the deck, I work from the center line to the shear line on each side, and then I switch sides so that I can maintain a wet edge down the center of the deck and moving forward. You have to look carefully to make sure you haven't missed any spots. You have to move fast and keep a wet edge and create a drip free surface. And that's just the first coat. After that first coat, you need to apply two more coats. So you need to sand again, wet sand, remove the residue and do another coat. Wet sand lightly between coats to remove any drips or runs. The sanded surface between coats is important because it gives a tooth to lock in the new coat of varnish and it shows you if you've missed any spots, which is easy to do. That's why we do with the grain, across the grain, and then with the grain to make sure we haven't missed any spots. You want to have a lot of strong lighting so you can see the highlight of the lights in that varnish surface to tell whether you've got total coverage. And don't forget to varnish your hatch covers also. I hot glue my hatch covers to these stands so that I can handle them more easily. Here I'm applying my third and final coat. Probably the biggest tip I can offer to you is to prevent dust in your final coat. You need to leave your shop totally alone or at least a day, two days even better, to keep dust from landing in your varnish. Now we're finished varnishing. In part 12 of building Utec, we will outfit the boat with seat and deck hardware. For more information on my strip building techniques, see my shop tips pages at laughingloon.com. Full plans for the Sea Kayak Utec, along with many other canoe and kayak plans, instruction books, and how-to videos are available at my website, laughingloon.com.